I vividly recall that August afternoon when I was invited to become a judge of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. It marked the beginning of a defining chapter in my life. That chapter has now spanned two decades. And throughout that time, I've had this extraordinary honor to play a role, not just in resolving disputes that people bring before the courts, but more importantly, to be a part of the building and refinement of everything that accompanies the creation of jurisprudence. The opportunity to participate in the social progress of the region in this way is a source of immense pride and satisfaction. And to be afforded now the distinction of serving as president of the Caribbean Court of Justice is a responsibility that I can only describe as humbling. Both in the original and in the appellate jurisdictions, this court has expanded access to justice. I like to think of the law as a huge overarching tapestry of rules and regulations and court judgments that governs every facet of our lives constraining our choices and shaping our everyday actions. And this tapestry has many creases and corners and crevices that are obscure. And the only way that some of these obscurities will come to light and be unraveled is when a dispute emerges that touches on them. If access to, judge, if access to justice is impeded, these corners and crevices remain obscure. The CCJ helps to shine a light on these obscurities.